Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find the KL transform for the given input matrix with a simple solid example. This is the given input matrix. On this, we will perform the KL transform. The first step of KL transform is to form the vectors from the given matrix. The given matrix is 2 by 2 matrix, hence we will get two vectors. Let's say x0 and x1 be the two vectors. Here x0 is equal to 4 minus 1 and x1 which is equal to minus 2, 3. Once you find the vectors, next step is to find the covariance matrix. To find the covariance matrix, we use following formula. That is covariance of x which is equal to expected value of x multiplied with transpose of x minus x bar multiplied with transpose of x bar. Where x bar denotes the mean of input matrix. Now the question is how to find the x bar. To find the x bar we use the following formula that is x bar which is equal to 1 divided by m multiplied with summation of xk where k goes from 0 to m minus 1. In the given input matrix we have been given two vectors so m value will become 2. Once we replace m with 2 then we will get x bar which is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied with summation of xk where k goes from 0 to 1. Once we expand this equation, in the first iteration we will replace k with 0 and in the second iteration we will replace k with 1. We know the value of x0 and x1, we will replace x0 and x1 here. Once we simplify this equation, we will get x bar which is equal to 1 1 matrix. Once you find the value of x bar, next we need to find the multiplication of x bar with the transpose of x bar. We know the value of x bar, we know the value of transpose of x bar, now we need to do the matrix multiplication. That is, first row is multiplied with first column, that is 1, 1 which is equal to 1. Next, first row which is multiplied with second column of the second matrix, that is 1, 1 which is equal to 1. Next, second row which is multiplied with the first column of the second matrix that is 1, 1 which is equal to 1. Second row which is multiplied with second column that is 1, 1 which is equal to 1. Once you find the value of x bar multiplied with the transpose of x bar, next, next we need to find the expected value of x multiplied with transpose of x. To find the expected value of x and multiplied with transpose of x, we use the following formula that is 1 divided by m summation of xk, xk transpose where k goes from 0 to m minus 1. We already know the value of m that is 2. So, if you replace m value by 2, we will get 1 by 2 summation of xk transpose of xk where k goes from 0 to m minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. Once we expand this equation, in the first iteration we will replace k with 0 and in the second iteration we will replace k with 1. That is this will become x0 and this will become x0 transpose. This will become x1 this will become x1 transpose. Once we do the matrix multiplication between these two and these two, we will get following matrices. Once we simplify this equation, we will get expected value of x multiplied with transpose of x as 2 minus 1 minus 1 1. Once you find the expected value and uh, x bar we multiplied with the transpose of x bar. Next, we need to find the covariance of x. Covariance of x which is equal to this minus of this which is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 2 0. Once we find the covariance matrix, the step 3 is we need to find the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix. To find the eigenvalues, we use the following formula that is determinant of covariance of x minus lambda into i which is equal to 0 where i is a identity matrix. We know the covariance of x that is 1 minus 2 minus 2 0 
we know the i value i value is a 1001 because this is a identity matrix once you multiply lambda with identity matrix we will get lambda 0 0 lambda once you subtract this from this we will get 1 minus lambda minus 2 minus 2 minus lambda now we need to find the determinant of this matrix to find the determinant of this matrix we multiplied this value with minus lambda minus minus 2 into minus 2 here it is now we will simplify this equation we will get lambda square minus lambda minus 4 which is equal to 0 by solving the equation that is lambda square minus lambda minus 4 which is equal to 0 we get the eigenvalues as lambda 0 and lambda 1 here the equation is quadratic equation so we will get lambda which is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 16 divided by 2 once you simplify this equation we will get 1 plus or minus 4.1231 divided by 2 to find the eigenvalues once we will take plus and second time we will take as a negative that is lambda 0 is equal to 1 plus 4.1231 divided by 2 which is equal to 2.5615 lambda 1 which is equal to 1 minus 4.1231 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 1.5615 here eigenvalues are in a decreasing order so there is no question of arranging the eigenvalues if the eigenvalues are not in the decreasing order we need to arrange the values in decreasing order once you find the eigenvalues the next step is to find the eigenvectors the first eigenvector that is phi 0 is found from the equation for lambda 0 which is equal to 2.5615 to find the eigenvectors we use the following formula that is covariance of x minus lambda 0 i multiplied with phi 0 here we know the value of covariance of x that is 1 minus 2 minus 2 0. We know the value of lambda 0 that is 2.5615. We know the value of i. This is an identity matrix. So we will get lambda 0 multiplied with i as 2.5615 0 0 2.5615 phi 0 which is replaced with phi 0 0 phi 0 1 because the given matrix is a two dimension matrix once we simplify this equation we will get minus 1.5615 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2.5615 multiplied with 500501 now we will do the matrix multiplication we will get the equation that is first row is multiplied with first column we will get minus 1.5615500 minus 25 0 1 which is equal to 0 and second row which is multiplied with first column we will get minus 2 5 0 0 minus 2.5615501 which is equal to 0 in this case i will use a first equation to find the 5 0 0 value so we will get 5 0 0 which is equal to 2 into 5 0 1 divided by minus 1.5615 here we will consider 501 as a 1 so we will get 500 which is equal to minus 1.2808 so first eigenvector that is 50 which is equal to minus 1.2808 and 1 once we find the first eigenvector next we need to find the second eigenvector that is 51 by using the lambda value which is equal to minus 1.5615 we know the covariance of x we know the lambda 1 into i so once we simplify this equation we will get this matrix next we need to multiply this matrix with this one we will get equation as 2.5615510 minus 2511 which is equal to 0 minus 2510 minus 1.5615511 which is equal to 0 here i will use this equation to find the 510 which is equal to 2 into 511 divided by 2.5615 here 
here we will assume 511 as a 1 so we will get 510 which is equal to 0 0.7808 so the second eigenvector that is 51 which is equal to 0 0.7808 and 1 once you find the eigenvectors the next step is to find the normalized eigenvectors to find the normalized eigenvectors we use the following formula that is eigenvector divided by length of eigenvector the length of eigenvector can be calculated with this following formula that is square root of square of first dimension plus square of second dimension here we know the first eigenvector we will replace that value in this equation and we will find the length of the eigenvector once we simplify this equation we will get minus 0 0.7882 and 0 0.6154 as a first normalized eigenvector similarly we will find the second normalized eigenvector here we use the second eigenvector we will replace this second eigenvector here and we will find the length of the second eigenvector once you simplify this equation we will get 0.6154 and 0.7882 as a second normalized eigenvector once you find the normalized eigenvector next step is to find the KL transformation matrix from the eigenvector KL transformation matrix T which is equal to first normalized eigenvector and second normalized eigenvector once you find the KL transformation matrix next step is to find the KL transformation of the input matrix to find the KL transformation of the input matrix we use the following formula that is y is equal to t into x here we have two vectors so we will separately find the y0 and y1 here we know the value of t we know the value of x0 so we will replace those values once we simplify or once you multi once we do the matrix multiplication we will get y0 which is equal to minus 3.7682 1 1.6734 and uh, to find the y1 value we know the value of t we know the value of x1 once we put those values and uh, once we do the matrix multiplication we will get y1 which is equal to 3.4226 and 1.1338 and once we combine these two values we will get the final transformation matrix is y which is equal to minus 3.7682 and 1.1338 this is a final KL transform of the given input matrix I hope the concept of KL transform is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the bell icon for regular updates press the subscribe button for more videos thank you for watching